In human anatomy, the subtalar joint is also known as the talocalcaneal joint in the foot. This articulation is between the talus and the calcaneus at the posterior, middle, and anterior facets and is capable of both pronation and supination about a single axis model. This motion exists primarily as transverse and frontal plane motions depicted in the series shown. In the medial and lateral viewpoints, this motion of pronation and supination will lower and raise the arch height of the foot, respectively. This will be accompanied by change in the talocalcaneal angle, which increases and decreases as well. As the medial column flattens, the talonavicular articulation will fall, with the talar head declining plantarly, splaying of the foot will also result in changes in overall length. Anterior and posterior views will demonstrate an internal and external rotation of the leg, which translates in frontal plane inversion and eversion of the heel respectively. This subtalar pronation unlocks the mid-tarsal joint and in return creates a mobile and adaptable posture to the foot architecture. There will also be a notable widening and narrowing of the foot shape, visible in the dorsal and plantar viewpoints of this simulation. Here, the talocalcaneal angle will also demonstrate widening and pronation, while the talar head escapes its articulation with the navicular. The subtalar joint is the primary interface of pronatory and supinatory motions of the foot and leg. The human foot is a remarkable instrument of human locomotion and is an intriguing accomplishment of engineering.